Kate Hudson is blonde and is Goldie Hawn's daughter. I don't have any of those going for me, but it's fine because we're still gonna try and eat like her. So there were a few things that I looked at when trying to figure out how Kate Hudson eats. Luckily, she's been famous for a very long time, and so there are many, many, many resources talking about what she eats. Kate starts the day with water. It is now almost 11.20. Hell, we're doing really well. She says that she loves sparkling water. So I have still water here. Unlike the Kendall Jenner video, which if you haven't seen that, you should. It was very fun. I will link it up here. She does not have a very, 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 expensive tea I did get to buy fancy sparkling water which I don't think I ever buy literally ever considering it's fancy we're gonna have it in a fancy glass cheers Ooh. I really doubt that Kate starts the day with sparkling water it does wake you up Kate has a very interesting way of eating we will talk more on that later I think it's great I'm very excited so I kind of already completely forgot something. It's fine, I didn't eat yet. Kate Hudson, she talks about the fact that she has water first thing in the morning, but then before she eats anything, she has what every other celebrity was ranting on about for the last year, two years. I don't know, does 2020 count as a year? I'm not counting it as a year. For the last year, <laughs> celebrities have been ranting on and on about the benefits of it's celery juice. It's, it's, that's what it is. I don't, I don't really like celery. It's, it's okay. It's okay vegetable. Kate Hudson made a really weird face in the video where she was like, if you've ever had celery juice on an empty stomach, you know. So can't wait for that. Don't know what that means. Cheers. I don't know if I've ever had celery juice. Come to think of it. So glad I made a big jar of this. Yup. Tastes like leaf juice water. Are we gonna drink it anyway? Yeah. Okay, let's go make breakfast. And if you take the wrong way, and maybe you should stay instead of turning around. So Kate Hudson mentions two breakfasts, and I'm gonna talk really fast because I really want to eat this. Kate Hudson mentions two breakfasts, and the first one is oatmeal, which I have nothing against. I love oatmeal. If you've seen the Kendall Jenner video, I ate oatmeal. I talked about how much I eat oatmeal. I ate a lot of oatmeal. And the oatmeal that she talks about sounds incredible. She puts fruit on it. She puts nuts on it. She puts maple syrup, chia seeds. This is like the Rolls Royce of oatmeal, okay? But I eat that all the time. Not that version, but I eat a lot of oatmeal. I wanted to try something that I don't eat a lot of the time, and let's be honest, I really just want an excuse to eat butter. She mentioned that she doesn't really really like to eat breakfast first thing in the morning, which worked out well for me because today I woke up super late. So she just drinks a lot of liquids first thing in the morning and then she has a later breakfast. The second breakfast that she mentioned, sourdough toast, avocado, soft boiled eggs, lots of butter, lots of olive oil. I am so excited. So here's the breakfast. I did two eggs. She said eggs plural, like Kendall Jenner. So here we are, two eggs. And she didn't mention how much avocado or how much butter or how much oil. So I just put a lot. Very toasted. Sorry, if I didn't mention the obvious, this is delicious. Yeah, this is a great breakfast. I think especially when you see what she has for lunch, you'll understand the size. This is delicious. I would 1000% make this on like a weekend. Don't stay looking out the window and how late do you plan on going? not sure how considering how large that breakfast was and how many beverages I've had but kind of hungry I haven't had lunch yet so Kate Hudson says that she tries not to snack don't we all okay but she says that when she does snack she really 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 loves chips and salsa which what a good decision she says that whenever her jeans stop fitting it's usually because she's been on a huge chips and salsa kick I got chips which I feel like, didn't Kendall Jenner have a chip? But she had guac and now we have salsa. So I just got this, it's like a regular thick and chunky salsa. Yeah, it's just so good. Yeah, this is great. I 10 out of 10 would eat this, especially in the summer. I could eat this all day. I'm gonna go eat this, fend off this one because it's not her lunch time. I will see you back at the bench for lunch. We are just 
we are just speeding through this day. The thing that I found very interesting about Kate Hudson's lunch is it's either a salad, which, okay, almost every celebrity ever has a salad for lunch. Something about something crunchy, full of vegetables in the middle of the day makes you feel like you are succeeding at life. Kate Hudson, when not eating a salad, says that she actually likes to have a liquid lunch, which is a protein shake, some healthy fats in there, some fruit. I personally have never done this, mostly because I like to chew my food. I did manage to kind of recreate this movie that she talked about in the video. She likes to stick to the chocolatey protein flavors, which 100% agree. Almond butter and banana. I don't have almond butter. I wasn't about to buy a whole jar just to use one scoop for this movie and then never touch it again. So I used peanut butter and I also put in a half a banana. Well, that's delicious. She's a genius. I was wrong. I'm wrong. I need to start drinking lunch. The Kate Hudson day is weird because there are so many beverages that like I feel very full and then an hour later I'm starving and I honestly think it's because I'm just consuming a lot of liquid. Those are my thoughts. She usually has this after a workout. Have we worked out yet today? No. I underestimated this. I thought sipping a smoothie for lunch would not be satisfying. This is very satisfying. She might be onto something here. Okay, it has been not enough hours since lunch, but this is dinner. Kate Hudson says that she likes to eat out for dinner a lot, and she named a lot of cities, none of which I can go to anymore. She did mention this roast chicken. I have never heard of this before. I was instantly intrigued. The roast chicken she talks about is pretty normal. It's salt, pepper, lemon. She mentioned fresh herbs, and when I looked up recipes like this online, they mentioned fresh thyme, so I went with that, and shallots. Then she says she serves it with rice. And the weird thing is she makes gravy, which is not weird, but she adds nutmeg to the gravy, which I've never heard of, I've never done, and it sounded really good. Oh wow. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> I wouldn't normally make rice with this, but... I have never ever seen nutmeg used like this, but all gravy should have nutmeg in it. I don't even want to talk. I just want to eat this. <laughs> I don't remember the last time I had gravy either, which is probably making me a little bit biased, but that's fine. We are still drinking sparkling water. Still feel very fancy doing it, and I'm not upset about it. You'll never see the stars when you're all in your head. You can find beauty in the night too. But it's harder to see when you're stuck in a dream. Unlike Kendall Jenner, Kate Hudson has dessert. The thing that came up the most was ice cream. She talked specifically about Haagen-Dazs, specifically Haagen-Dazs oat milk based ice cream. She tries to stay away from dairy. Unfortunately, in Canada that I have seen, there is no such thing as oat milk based Haagen-Dazs. On top of that, there's only a sort of coconut cream ones. They didn't have any of the flavors that she mentioned in the coconut cream. Here we are with regular dairy. She mentioned mint chocolate chip, and dolce de leche, and then she adds chocolate chips. That is not a normal thing that comes in that ice cream. Can always be persuaded to put chocolate chips on things. Yeah. haagen -Dazs always taste like those really fancy individual chocolates. Like I want to say it tastes like the inside of a Mars bar in this flavor because it's caramel. That sounds mean. It is much fancier than a Mars bar. This is delicious. I am also an ice cream person when it comes to dessert. I, I understand. Throughout the video, Kate Hudson preaches balance. She talks about eating healthy and having healthy habits and moving your body, but she also talks about balancing that out with foods that she loves, especially when she's traveling, especially when she wants something or is craving something. She goes between being more healthy, being less healthy, and she seems to have made her peace with that, which I am super here for. That is great. I am all for having chips and salsa kicks. Yeah, I really enjoyed this day. I really enjoy these videos. Let me know in the comments which video you'd like me to film next so yeah Keep